What's up, guys? Hey, so it's Eric back again from Urban Ghost Hunters. And guys, I, I came this time, I wanted to actually go over some of this evidence that we actually captured while we were investigating the haunted mausoleum. The evidence was incredible that we captured, and we're actually gonna bring you some guys, some of the, the greatest evidence of it that we did capture the whole time we were down there through the last three videos. I'm gonna put a link down below to those videos with the timestamps, that way you guys can go and watch the unedited version of it. But guys, I'm gonna tell you something. That evidence was incredible. It's some of the best evidence that we've ever sure kept, actually ever captured. But you gotta be sure to stay to the end to actually see the best evidence that we captured. Um, <clears throat> you know, we've investigated a ton of places. We've caught some still images of full body apparitions, but nothing really takes the cake with this evidence. Be sure to stay to the end. Be sure to leave us a comment and let, you know, let us know that you actually saw the evidence and let us know what your thoughts are on it. You know, we, we want to hear what you got to say. Remember, guys, we appreciate the support. Be sure to go down below and be sure to watch our older videos. Help us grow, but let's get right into it, guys. Here we go. So you notice when we started out with the first video that we did, we actually just went in and actually just explored it. I, uh, I walked through it in the daytime, brought some of the videos from around the cemetery. Um, guys, this place was amazing. I mean, really notable people are actually buried in that location. But anyway, that first video, we actually got a couple of responses in it. Um, I want you to watch the video down below. Just a couple of seconds, you're going to notice I roll into a ghost bike session, then instantly it's followed with a slam. We, I don't know what it was. The only thing I could figure out was maybe that it was that window in the back. I don't know. But anyway, guys, take a look at it, see what you think, comment on it below, and let's get into the next one. So in that next clip, at 13 minutes and 22 seconds, we start rolling into a ghost box session. Uh, with the camera static, sitting on the floor, shooting down the corridor, we instantly started getting intelligent responses to questions we were asking. And we'll go in right into that video. I want you to look real quick at that clip. Look at that clip. Tell us what you think you hear. Comment that below. And uh, if you hear something different than we heard, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think it says. Anybody want to come and speak with us? Can anybody tell us how many people are here? Hello? Anybody come up and tell us a name? Come up. We know, we know that you're here. At 14 minutes and 40 seconds in the same footage, we <clears throat> we start to capture a bunch of different orb activity. You're going to notice that the orbs fly up, but actually one thing that we wanted to actually say about that was that a lot of times when we see an orb, we don't really get excited over it, you know, unless it's something light that takes an intelligent flight path. It has to be able to look like it's a reason to fly, a reason for what it's doing. You know, a bug, maybe, dust, more than likely. But with an orb, what we say is that an orb always emits its own light, you know, it has its own light source. And you're gonna notice that. So let's look at that real quick and then, and then what we'll do is we'll talk a little bit more about it. If there's anybody here, can you come up and tell us your name? You can speak through this device that Chris is holding in his hand, and we might be able to hear you. Hello, can you give us your name?
this orb activity that we start to capture, a lot of times Chris and I will debunk this stuff as just dust, but you notice that we actually, these actually are, look like they're actually taking just their own flight path. And they're inquisitive of us being there. They fly towards the camera. They move in a, in a way that's intelligent. And after that, you notice we start at around 16 minutes and 12 seconds into the video. Um, I come out and I ask a question. And I say, I'm at the end of the corridor. I'm looking in the two burial chambers at the end of the hallway. And I ask, where are you? I want you to listen to that clip real quick. And then you tell me, pause it right there as soon as you hear the voice. Let us know what you think it says. What we really think it says is behind you. Uh, Chris and I both listened to it. We enhanced the audio on it and we clearly hear what sounds to be behind you. And you'll notice at 16 minutes and 41 seconds that we ask if anyone would like to uh, like to speak with us and we instantly get a response back. The response that we get is me. You'll see that video now. Take a look at it. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? Now is your chance to come up and talk to us. What's your name? Who said me? Now you notice that I follow back with asking the question, who said me? And instantly after that was when we actually captured the craziest thing that we've, we've ever seen. Now, Chris and I didn't see this with our own eyes. At 16 minutes and 53 seconds, you will notice exactly what we capture. This is this is absolutely crazy. It's it's really awesome. Um, I've had a lot of comments about it. I want you to comment. I want you to pause the video as soon as you see it, and I want you to tell us in the comments below. Tell us exactly what you think it is. Take a screenshot of it. Send it to me on Instagram. My Instagram links down below. Send me a screenshot of it with what you think it is. This object manifests and takes an intelligent flight path with what looks to be some really cool wings. You know, I've had a couple of comments say that, hey, you know, could it be a bat? Could it be a flying insect? And you know, when we enhanced the video and we looked at it closely, we noticed that this thing undulates or kind of moves in a way that's not natural. So is it, a, is it an animal like a bat? or a moth, even a butterfly, no. The, any animal like this, of course, when it moves through the air and it takes an awkward movement, it may look like it, you know, the formation of it kind of changes, but not in a way that this thing does. This, this was absolutely amazing, the way it, it glided through the air. It looked like it flew, it looked like it had wings. I mean, I've had a couple of people say, hey, you know, what you caught on camera is a, uh, not a will of the wisp, uh, maybe a fairy, who knows? I don't know, but it's for you to decide. We thought it was a really cool capture. Now, that we actually didn't see with our own eyes. Neither one of us noticed it. Chris was actually manning the camera. He was, he was watching it as I was walking around asking questions. I was standing right beside the camera. We were using a big, huge Sunpack 60 LED floodlight and so we actually had lighting down through that hallway. We, we weren't filming in the dark, uh, so we could actually see Chris never even saw it on the, on, the, on the screen. So, you know, and of course I didn't see it with my own eyes. So what it was, I can't tell you, but I really thought it was something cool. It's definitely well worth a look at.
Be sure to leave a comment below and let us know what you think it is. So, right after that, you notice that we, uh, <clears throat> you notice that that, when it takes a, the flight path and it goes all the way to the end of the corridor, it circles around, comes all the way back towards the camera. And as it comes back to the camera, instead of flying out of the scene or off camera, this thing actually flies directly down into the floor and disappears down into the floor. Really, really awesome. Uh, it was a good capture. Uh, I don't know, still per, you did decide what did you think it is. At 18 minutes and 31 seconds, instantly after this thing manifest on camera and did its flight and disappeared into the floor, we actually, I turned around and I followed after this with asking a question and I, we instantly got a response. Whatever it was, knew my name. Now, I want you to go back and I want you to listen to it and I want you to tell me what you think it says, but we clearly analyzed it, cleared the noise up, cleared the background noise up, and we hear exactly as it says. It says, Eric to the T. Do you know our name? seconds we actually capture another orb you will see this thing manifest right in front of the camera and it hovers there for a second flies towards the camera like it's inquisitive like it's maybe looking to see what we're doing you know it wants to know what we're doing what we're doing what we're there for this thing flies towards the camera and shoots directly down into the floor This Chris did see when it was on camera. He saw it. Uh, he actually didn't say nothing about it because he wanted to see if we were going to get any other kind of responses, like any direct hits on the K2 meter, or you know any other voices through there. And <clears throat> you know, with that video, it was it was really good. It you know we didn't realize that we had captured as much as we have until we actually had gotten home and actually went through the video footage. On this video, you'll notice that, you know, that it's um, it's kind of it's kind of creepy to us. It's kind of creepy anyway. And then as we roll into the investigation throughout the night, you know, we get a little bit more calm. The anxiety level goes way down. You know, and it kind of feels comfortable in there. You know, when we first walked in, I mean, it was, you know, my anxiety was through the roof. Uh, not like doing an urban explore in a place or something like that, but actually walking into a place where you know that is associated with nothing but but death, you know, and you know, I mean, just creepy in general. But anyway, guys, I hope that evidence really captured your attention. I'm gonna put a link to that video with the timestamps down below for you to be able to go through and watch it. Uh, also, the following video right after that, you'll notice that. Uh, we investigated that place you notice that it seems like that during the video you'll notice that you'll notice in it that we actually capture a few more orbs we also capture something that sounds kind of dark and we never caught captured anything like that in there before but that video like I said uh, Chris and I couldn't make it out what the what the ghost box was saying um, we listened to it we tried to clear up some of the audio on it um, we don't know we clearly heard Chris's name spoken <laughs> We didn't hear my name, but we definitely heard Chris's name, and we definitely heard something dark, dark and what sounded demonic to us. Was it? I don't know. But uh, we didn't experience anything uh, negative while we were in there. Uh, it was. It was all. It's always quiet in there. When you walk in, it's real quiet. It's real somber. But I want to tell you something, this place is phenomenal. We want to go back there. Uh, if there's <clears throat> anything that you would like to see us try, any kind of experiments you would like to try to see us do in there, be sure and comment that below. Uh, guys, we really appreciate your support. We want to be able to bring you some more really cool places. So you stay tuned because we have a couple of great places lined up that we're going to be bringing you in the next couple of weeks that are just going to be phenomenal. 
Um, you're not gonna wanna miss those. Also, be sure to check out the older videos down below. Help us grow. If you like this video, share it. Share it to your Twitter, share it to Instagram, share it to Facebook. Be sure to get it out. We wanna kinda get that evidence out because, you know, that's, that's the main thing is that we don't put a whole lot of our evidence out for social media, but you know, something that we know that we can't explain that is paranormal above the realm of normality, you know, we will put that out there and we hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to smash that like button. If you're new here to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell over there. That way you know that every time we drop a video, we try to drop one every week for you guys. We're going to try to push and push and push to get that out there to you. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we hope to see you soon.